I'm Meryl, a coach at Top Row. Um, we're here today and we'll, I'll teach you, or try to teach you, how to get out on the water and just make your first few strokes. Well, most important, one last check to see if your oar lock is closed, if your blade is flat on the water, and then just quite simply, in a second, push off, pull this oar in, and push off even further. That's it. Make sure the water is free and push. Once again. And there you are. Okay, well, we're out on the River Amso. Welcome. First things first, we could get comfortable a bit in the boat. So what you're going to do, remember the sequence. What you can do is just first row with only the arms. And try and go like that. Just to get the movement in, remember your back and remember the relaxation of your shoulders. Just to get that movement in. For the beginners, you don't have to turn your blades just yet. Just to get the movements in. Once you're stretched, you drop your oars in, pull your oars slowly towards you, push down to get them out again. Once that's comfortable, you can add in your back, make the stroke a bit longer. And the one, once this feels comfortable, you can start using your legs. So go like this, arms, back, right up, drop them in, push down, let them come towards you. Right up, push away, and let them come towards you. Just remember, drop them, use your body, and push to pull down again. And there you go. And that's a full stroke. When you're rowing, you need to alter your own directions and look over your shoulder to see where you're going. You do that very easy by just making one side stronger than the other. You can either make, your, make one stroke longer, which makes it stronger, or just pull a bit harder and you're there as well. So when you start rowing and I want to go there, I just start pulling a bit harder and I'll steer myself just around the bend. And there you are. 